Hi there, and we're back in the loaded 4x4 studio for another Good Gear segment. And Steen. Yes, David. I reckon I'm going to change my name by Depol. Oh, here we go. Why? Because I reckon with my blonde hair and blue eyes mm -hmm. that my real name should be David Svensson or something like that. Some, something <laughs> Swedish. What? <laughs> oh, I know where you're going with that. Do you? Meatballs. Correct. Yeah, Sea so, Swedish. So if you think about Swedish companies, there is Ikea. Yep. We make uh, meatballs as well as fine make, furniture. Make rubbish furniture. Um, Volvo. Volvo. We make rubbish cars. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> And the, the piece de resistance that Sweden is, is well re renowned for yeah. is ABBA. Can't, you can't knock ABBA. No, they're fantastic. They're fantastic. But back, like back, the C Tech gear. Yeah, back to the and job. And Volvo's really aren't rubbish, they're good cars. Of course they are. Yeah. P1800, the Saints yeah, car. Yeah, the Saints car. Fantastic. fantastic. Yep. But back to this C Tech are a fabulous Swedish company. Yes. And they've designed and developed this range of chargers, yep. of which I've had past history with. Well, you've had quite a bit of history, and so yeah, have I, actually, but here, let's hear about yours. So this, this is my favourite. This is an old uh, XS. Uh, so how, 30, how old is old? 20 years, right. I reckon. Yep. Have a look at the, the poor old case. It's, it's had been a hard life. been out a few times. Yeah. Yep. But this charger has been fantastic for folks. That's what it looks like. So 240 volt uh, charger for 12 volt charging yep. duties. So this is a trickle charger though, isn't it? Yeah, correct. Yep. And I've been using this reliably to charge up all of the, the quad yep. bikes and the side by sides yep. that we use in the training that I do. Yep. Your Ferrari. As, as, as well, my little Ferrari, the okay. Rose's Fiat. Oh, the Fiat, the one, yeah, two, four, one two four. Yeah. Um, so it charges up all those those things just yep. fabulously, yep. and it's been so robust. I mean, it's been dropped and it's been abused. So no dramas with it at all. No, nope. no, perfect. All the the circuits inside are still operational. Yep. You know, no problem at all, yep. and very simple to use too. And I understand that is the case with this new gadget. So tell yes. me about so, it. So this is the new, well it's not so new now, but I think it came out last year, the D250 SE. That's the one. DC to DC charger. Yep. So this is basically what you, and it's a 20 amp charger, it's basically what you use in your car to set up a dual battery system. Right. So one of these, it hooks into the starter battery. It works okay with a smart alternator, so there's actually a lead in here if we take this out. <coughs> and you'll see these couple of leads down here, so you've got one of those can sort out your smart alternator. Yep. Um, solar as well. Solar, so it's a solar input. Yeah. So you can. That's clever. Yeah. So as you, if you're base camped or whatever, you can have solar running into it or whenever. Am um, I right in discerning that this will recognise where that input is coming from and, and move it around to where it can do its best good? Uh, I, th I think, think so. so. Yeah. So it'd be hooked up to. You know, we're not highly technical with anything. No, 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 no. So. And I bet you, if I but work, it work my way through this user manual, I'd be able to find that information yeah. out in the, in the blink of an eye. Yeah. But yeah, from what I've been able to read, it's uh, once it's all plugged in and you might have a multiple of power sources coming into it, yeah, it manages the situation and, and yeah. shift it around yeah, to where sure. it can do its best good. That's pretty clever. It is very clever. It's very Swedish. Yeah, very Swedish. Yeah. It's like meatballs. <laughs> but so this takes over from the I think it was the D two fifty S or SA. Right. And, and the, that works. The viewers can correct me if I'm wrong about that. So and really the only difference well, it's exactly the same, but the only difference is this is lithium compatible. Right. So this will run those uh, LiPo4 batteries, Very like I said, we're not, or LiPo4. Which probably means lithium something, yeah. generation four. Exactly. Yeah, okay. That's pretty So to run those, so if you've got clever. a lithium battery set up, which is the latest way to do your auxiliary batteries these days, yep. um, this will look after those as well. Very and good. it'll look after your absorbed glass mat, your AGM yep. batteries, yep. your gel batteries, and of course, just normal wet cell batteries. Right, yeah. right. Um, these CTEC also make a point of making them compatible with their other products. So there's another gadget that goes. There's Smart a, Pass a Smart Pass 120, 20. which allows, when hooked in with this setup, will allow you to charge up to 300 amp, amp hour batteries. Yep. So it's some wow. big buggers. Yep. And the other thing that comes with this, which is quite unique, is this temperature sensor. So that actually right. sticks onto your battery yep. and it monitors the temperature of the battery because as you're charging your battery, it's yeah, obviously it's producing heat. And uh, it uses that to obviously monitor the charging mm. cycle. Very good. Yeah, so a great product. So, folks, if you're on the hunt for some sort of reliable means of getting energy into those batteries yeah. in your camper or in your four-wheel drive, yeah. this is definitely the way to go. And you'll find out more information about it on the SeaTech website. You'll find the web address at the bottom of the screen.